Love and Light. This is Healthy Talk Show for Monday, November 11th, 2019. I'm Robert. And I'm Marissa. Show notes will be over at healthytalkshow.com forward slash 32. On this episode of Healthy Talk Show, we have Instagram hiding likes and colleges buying test scores to scam students. But first... Amazon is betting big. Once again, the tech giant just announced they're opening up their first physical grocery store. And it's right here in SoCal. The market will open up in Woodland Hills next year. It's always SoCal. Yeah. (laughs) The store will be branded differently than Whole Foods, which Amazon bought for over $13 billion two years ago. $13 billion. Wow. It's expected to be more mainstream, while Whole Foods will remain more high end. Job openings at this market were recently posted online. This Amazon also did the stores in Seattle or the store in Seattle with the cameras attract the people. It's supposed to be this fully automated yeah. store. I was about to ask, so it's going to have that same concept where you just... I don't think so. Oh, no? I have no idea. It, well, uh, yeah, they did say they were hiring. So. Yeah. So. Interesting. Fox Business Twitter employees accused of spying for Saudi Arabia? The Twitter employees are accused of accessing users' email addresses, birthdays, and some other personal information from more than 6,000 Twitter accounts. And these were folks who were seen as critics of the Saudi government. That's why the Saudis wanted the personal information. Yeah. That's That's not uh, good. (laughs) Yeah, that's very worrisome. (laughs) information. Now, Twitter says they restrict access to sensitive account information to a limited group of trained and vetted employees, but I- <laughs> See, that's, it's why, fine. that's, how, the, it's that's fine. how these things always start. Oh, yeah, they, they can only be accessed by these certain people, yeah, well, but... <laughs> there's your leak. <laughs> Obviously, there are holes in the system that the Saudis were able to get through. So is there anything mean- Twitter, Facebook, and other social media companies can do to convince us that our personal information is safe? No. Ooh. Yeah. Now right, we're, now it's just old school spying. It's not yeah. even their lax security practices or, you know, oh, encryption. Who cares about encryption? Yeah. It's not them selling your data to everybody. It's just, this is just old fashioned spying now. I know. Can't stop that. <laughs> and so I always wonder, if all these companies, they want to build these profiles on you. They want to know everything about you. But then who else has access to that information? Yeah. And what other purposes is it being used for? Yeah. And some of the comments on this were, well, it's just Twitter. Who? What's really the information? Well, think about the location data yeah, the Twitter that. app collects from your cell phone. That's valuable information. Yeah. And people always forget about that location yeah. data. And if you have all loca- those apps, and we're talking about spying and you know espionage and all. Whoa, this could be people getting hurt now yeah. with that kind of data. That's, That's very true. And we mentioned that with Hong Kong, how that was an issue with apps yeah. tracking people. So this is another good example. Yep. CBS Evening News, CDC Vape. The CDC studied 29 samples collected from the lungs of patients suffering from the vaping illness. They found vitamin E acetate in all 29 samples. THC, the active ingredient in cannabis, was found in 23. After months of investigation... <sighs> yes? The, the way they presented that, why did they lump... THC with vitamin E. THC is supposed to be there in some of these cartridges. Vitamin E is not. Yeah. So why are they? Don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> the CDC says this is the first time they have detected what they call a toxin of concern. Vitamin E acetate is used to dilute THC oils in order to improve profits. It is used safely in supplements and creams, but when it is heated and inhaled, it is thought to cause a chemical burn injury in the lungs. A clue came two months ago when vitamin E acetate was first found in product samples in a New York State lab. Dr. Howard Zucker is the state health commissioner. So this is very much a sleuth mission. Nobody really knew what was the cause. And then you started to pull these little pieces together to figure out what is the common thread here. Both the CDC and Dr. Zucker say this is not the end of the story. We have to better understand the pathology of how the vitamin E that gets into the lungs and causes the damage to the lungs occurs. Occurs. We have to better understand that. I have a follow up. CBS <laughs> Evening News, Dr. John LePoke on the chemical burn in the lungs, really quick. Unless you wanted to go somewhere else. No. 
What seems to be happening here, Nora, is that the vitamin E acetate is causing a chemical burn in that paper-thin, fragile part of the lungs where oxygen enters the bloodstream. Kind of like what mustard gas did in World War I. Oh. And that burn causes the oxygen level in these patients to drop to dangerous levels. That's not propagandistic at all, comparing it to yeah. mustard gas. What the hell? I mean, I'm sure it's not good for you, but geez. Mustard gas? Yeah, uh, that was quite the Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> quite the comparison there. Propaganda. Very interesting. Very confusing. Anything on it? I, I wanted to hear about the uh, vaping rally first. Well, no, no vaping rally. I cut uh, that out. Oh, sorry. Ah, see, so you can't listen to me when I'm editing, editing these clips. Can't oh, do that. Oh, sorry. Can't do that. Well, Ready to move on? I guess the question was, how come the Europeans aren't seeing epidemics? A lot of people are talking about that. Yeah? Do, do you have an answer for that? I don't know. I, I was, I've been looking <laughs> into it. Okay. And it just seems like they're, they have more re like regulations and that's testing. That's what I was afraid of the answer being, because yeah, that's but, not the answer. But then what we're doing here, though, is completely banning them. So I feel like we need some balance like this is good we figured out do you out. really think that the ban is going to stick i think banning is just leading to regulation it's just a way to push for regulation i i really it's going to be a regulated product it's not going to go away yeah i don't i don't i'm not convinced it will go away i'm, I'm convinced it's just a way to push into a regulated field so now we're just pushing tobacco on everybody it's all about the tobacco push if anything so but they want to control the tobacco of course tobacco is something controllable as opposed to cannabis which can grow anywhere yeah. that's what i'm thinking this whole ban. i think this ban's bullshit well, I was going to say with the ban, it's weird because, you know, you find a, a few samples that are contaminated mm -hmm. and, but, oh, we got to ban everything. No, no, no. It's, but the ban is going to be now, now the talk's going to be regulation. Let's well, regulate it. Let's not ban it. Let's regulate it. But I, no, well, forget well, right that. Now Just stay away banned. from it. I, I, well, <laughs> that's just my view. It always goes back to <laughs> consume your marijuana yeah. from, you know, the plant. Yeah. <laughs> just, just grow the marijuana yourself. It's a lot easier than having to do all the... It, we're really going to trust tobacco companies. That's who it's going to eventually come out to. It's this iCost yeah. device. Everyone's talking about the iCost device. It's, that's what it is. And that's just the tobacco companies winning again. Well, that's true. And no one's talking about that. HealthyTalkShow.com slash support. We are. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Ready to move on? Yeah. Yeah, that rally had really bad audio. I couldn't use it. I'm sorry. Uh. And it was referencing things that weren't... It was weird. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> More on that later. <laughs> CBSN colleges buy student SAT score data to boost profits and exclusivity rates. Interesting. Interview with Douglas Belkin, higher ed reporter, Wall Street Journal. Oh, it's a very long title. Hold on. Let me give it all. all right, sorry. On the college board. So the college board was created about 100 years ago, and the idea was to create a test, which became the SAT for today, that was uh, built to um, essentially test the aptitude and intelligence of students around the country, because kids were only coming from specific um, schools in the area. Um, uh, so the SAT has, has become a, you know, a mainstay of the uh, uh, college uh, admissions process now, um, and I think two and a half million kids uh, take it every year. So pretty much, if you're planning to go to college, you're likely to take the SAT, and if not, then you'll probably take the AC, which is important. I don't know why his audio is so bad. I know colleges buy SAT score data to boost exclusivity rates. Here we go. Before you take one of these exams, you fill out a survey question, and you have an option whether or not to to, to answer those questions. But about eighty percent of the kids who are about to take the exam fill it out. That information gets packaged and then it gets sold Dang. to universities who use it to market uh, their school to these kids. What's wrong with that? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I remember signing up for some sort of mailing list. Oh, you probably signed up for a lot of them, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got so much college junk mail. Uh, some of these, uh, 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 the, the marketing efforts, you know, the kids get the information and they believe that the school is recruiting them or at least they learn about the school and then a lot of them get rejected in there. Uh, unhappy about it. So uh, one of the things that's... Yeah, to say the least, they're happy about it. Yeah. They get rejected. What's happened is that the uh, selectivity numbers for schools have gone way, way down. It's much harder to get into universities. And this is one of the reasons why that's happening. In some cases, they're buying the SAT scores of kids that are far below the median or even the very low end of the kids that they accept. 
So that means that is that is wrong. Yeah, very oh, yeah. misleading. They're buying the numbers uh, and the information from these kids, they know that there's not a very good chance that a lot of these kids are going to earn exceptions. So it's scamming the kids. You're basically buying up the crappy numbers to lie to these kids and then say, hey, you might be able to come here. Give us money. No, oh, no. That, that's the problem with all these rankings. It's, what about with like med school and stuff? What about to get going to go into med school? I've heard those are freaking tests and admission oh, fees another, and all that crap. Yeah. I hear it's thousands and thousands of dollars. I, Nobody wants I to. don't know how people afford it. <sighs> crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. And then this quick commentary on what the UC system is thinking about. We talked about this last episode. So they've taken up the mantle of an argument that's really been simmering around the country. And they're obviously a little bit to the left of the rest of the country. So they're beginning. Their- Literally. Uh-huh. Uh, starting there first. But their point is that if you are a kid who doesn't go to a great school, uh, the, your, the, the SAT score that you get is going to be much lower. So what was created as an exam to uh, become a leveler and find smart kids has become a, uh, a, a, a sort of a bar of entry for a lot of kids who, who, who uh, are coming from, from poorer communities uh, where the, testing, the, the, the test numbers are much lower. Very interesting. The UC system. Yeah, it's a, again, complicated problem. Yeah, what are we going to do? Interesting mm-hmm. that California... Because there's a lot of there are a lot of poor people in California. There are a lot yeah. of people in California. The UC systems in California, and now the UC systems kind of seeing that they're even just probably leaving out poor people by their own standards. Yeah, by what they're very yeah, true. that's in their own backyard. But it also wow. goes back to how are you going to compare these students? But of course, buying that SAT college data was very predatory, mm-hmm. and that goes into a lot of other all data. It's all should be kept private. It's your data. <laughs> Keep it private. Yeah. It's predatory. But it's, it's yeah. Freaking weird. It's uh, bizarre. And they it just speaks to the to... business of schools. They should not, it shouldn't be businesses. They should yeah. be institutions for and, learning. And these weird bull rankings. Yeah. That don't mean <laughs> really anything. Yeah. Because it, <laughs> it also depends on how many students you're su- accepting, how mm-hmm. many applicants. It's mm-hmm. not a bar. It's there's so many metrics. It's just yeah. it's like a credit score. <laughs> ABC News. We reported on that deadly bacteria outbreak at a hospital in Danville, Pennsylvania. Hospital officials now say the equipment carrying donor breast milk was contaminated, linked to the outbreak, blamed for infecting eight premature babies in the neonatal intensive care unit. Three of those babies died. The bacteria was found on that equipment. Just a quick one. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. WJZ. The number of minors being treated in emergency rooms across the country for sexual abuse more than doubled between 2010 and 2016. That's according to a new study. More than 85% of the children treated in this study were girls, but the authors did not find a reason why. Very disturbing. Yeah. CNN, child sex abuse case of treating yours rose more than 70% in seven years. And we got the study here. I'm a pediatrics emergency department of mission missions for child sexual abuse in the United States from 2010 to 2016. And then we actually have it here. It's not very hard to read. Got some numbers here. Very disturbing. And then you could just see it's going up. Yeah. Which these numbers are of course, extremely low because sexual sexual abuse amongst for is just affects so many children. It's just bad. So, uh, that's true. It's, you talk to so many yeah. people and they always mention. So they said the numbers jumped from 5,138 in 2010 to 8,818 in 20. Is that date 2016? Yeah. Yeah. But I, you mentioned that it could also be a good thing. Yeah, more it's, it's getting reported more. That's, it shows that the reporting is going up. So hopefully we can yeah. stop it. But. Hopefully those are some- It also just shows that the reporting is still flipping low because you know these numbers of actual cases that are never even reported. Yeah. It's, uh, but it sucks. I guess that was hopefully one good thing about the Me Too movement in general. Yeah. It brought it to the forefront, but yeah. then the pendulum swings another way and then- Of, of course. Always. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. At least more reporting, more awareness. Yes, can- 
call talk it out. Talk about this. Yep. Have have more honest conversations. Absolutely. Rounding us off for the evening, CBS This Morning, Instagram hiding likes for some U.S. users. Instagram tried out the hidden likes feature for months in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, Italy, Brazil, and Japan. In a tweet sent out by Masseri last Friday, he announced the feature was hitting stateside, adding, quote, looking forward to the feedback. What? And- yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> What's wrong? What? What? Oh, I think like <laughs> and feedback is already coming. Instagram influencer Kim Kardashian West agrees the move will be beneficial for people's mental health. Oh, that's but hip hop artist Cardi B feels the problem isn't the likes, but the comments. She made her voice heard on Instagram, even though she didn't want to show her face. I'm sad that she made her voice heard on Instagram. Let's listen to what she said. <laughs> oh, no. Starting the craziest arguments, been starting to race bay, all because of comments. The comments affect more than the likes. Okay. Instagram, hiding likes. People are apparently not happy. First thing that came to mind for me were the influencers. What about the influencers? Oh my gosh, what's going to happen to the influencers? This brand new career that has emerged because of Instagram. Are they going to be negatively affected by this? Um, Possibly, but I think that's (laughs) not the end of the world. (laughs) I mean, they'll still post their photos. People will still like them. They'll still be able to push products and ideas. I love that. They'll still be able to push products and ideas. I love it. I love it. It's about pushing the products. Yep. It will be fine. They just won't have the same immediate Mm self-validation. They'll still have follower counts. They'll still get messages. You'll still have a sense of who's important and who's not. There will still be a cast system on Instagram. Don't you worry. It just won't be quite as precisely defined. Right. Don't worry. It won't be as precisely defined. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, People freaking out about, I think the likes should, everything's, Get rid of all the social media sites. Get rid of. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was kind of confused. So they're just hiding how likes many likes for a certain has. users. Yes. Can you select it to turn it on or off? Or I honestly don't even know. I didn't even yeah. look into it that much. I don't. I all this crap I, needs to go away. I see people looking at their phones just for this instant hit, and it looks like a drug to me. And well, now they got to regulate. Yeah, they're regulating <laughs> the drug now. Only gotta, certain users. Yeah, they that's, can't can't show your legs, yeah. but. Yeah, what about that, the comments? Are yeah, the comments well, on Instagram bad? It According stop. to Cardi B, the comments are bad. And I, I would say so. People are say some nasty stuff I would online. think the comments on Twitter are the worst. Well, Instagram seems to be the safe space for everybody. <laughs> as, as you say, it's all ones and zeros on the internet. Yeah. You're saying so everyone just binary. reacts. Everybody's binary. You react, <laughs> everyone will react one way or the other. Yeah. No imagination so you, anymore. You either get hate or love. Like it, hate it. Like right. it, hate it. That's right. <laughs> I think that's up or down, just... thumbs up, thumbs down, <laughs> one or the other. It's all yeah. you get. It's nothing, nothing in between. Yeah. Well, <sighs> <laughs> at least here we don't have to push products on you guys. Yeah, we don't. We're <laughs> value for value, which means you like to lead in. Please help us financially produce the show by heading over to HealthyTalkShow.com slash support. Your financial contribution will ensure we remain unbiased, commercial-free, and will help us pay for things like rent. Our show is value for value. If you found value in this show, please provide some back. HealthyTalkShow.com slash support. We record Healthy Talk Show live on Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 3 a.m. UTC over at HealthyTalkShow.com forward slash live. Feedback, our emails, askhealthytalkshow.com, call us 509-878-3229, and, ask, and healthytalkshow.com forward slash social for all our social media links. Love and light. Love and light.